for some lunch. Yeah. Yeah. The whereabouts in Kootenay Lake are you going? Belfort. Belfort, yeah. That's a nice spot. Mm -hmm. You're not going to the ashram there, are you? What's that? That's that service. Another one. We do it. So we try this until that becomes available. Right, so how are we going to see be effective though? So it's not just one person crying from the wilderness, but that we have a number of people speaking out. So we connect you around the country. Sign our petition even if you don't want a video. Then we get, we get start getting names from Alberta. My brother's saw me on TV United Grain Workers. Well, that's what you say here for well, we could probably find a camp around here. I guess this is the main street here? Yeah. Titles. This is the road we came on, highway number three from Salmo over to Creston. Okay. And Creston is right at the bottom of Kootenay Lake. This is uh, just leaving Creston right now. We uh, just drove through the city and we're on our way out. Looks like we're going to We just stopped on the east side of Creston at a nice river. And we're going to have lunch here. This is uh, in Yak at the hotel. They support the timber industry. Imagine that that's a, a base for this town. Now there's a lot of old buildings here. Looks like quite an old settlement. about 30 kilometers from Creston. It's called the Horny Owl Saloon. I wonder where it got its name. Just outside Yak, this uh, tractor trailer overturned. And uh, we're getting uh, enough gas money to continue, but this way. We made 25 cents at the last can. They were just clean. Nothing. Not even a fucking nickel. I guess I could check over the bank. We had a choice here to go to Radium, take the northern route, or go down to Fernie, and we decided to take the southern route because it was a lot, little easier on the hills and it would be better for the truck. So here we go. Well, we stopped last night in look, a construction site. We didn't know it, it was kind of late, but this morning when we wake up, all these trucks are here and uh, we're kind of in, in the way or, or I guess we're, we're very noticeable anyway. There's a nice water supply here. It's not bad in some, some ways where we stopped. We had a good fire. The, bu the bugs were pretty heavy. The morning thought was the system is so fucked and people are so indoctrinated into it that the difficulty of, of reversing that course is going to take some cataclysmic upheaval, e either divine intervention or some physical uh, cat catastrophe. 
it, it, but it doesn't look like they're going to change willingly. This is the spot we stopped at last night. down to empty on the fuel tank and we've got about five bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks, he says, to uh, put in the tank. We're out of tobacco and uh, looks like it's going to get interesting. <laughs> this is the highest price we've paid yet for propane. Just on the other side of that sign we see uh, a different price. Uh, that's how fast things are changing. Now, Let's see what the move is. I've just been told at the Salvation Army thrift shop that there is a hostel here. And but right now I'm uh, following Simon to see what, what he does when he's stuck in the town. That's him way up there. I see he's heading back now. Time to try and pick up women, Simon. They're not the, your answer. What are you going to do? Excuse me, sir. Sir, can you help me? Uh, we're stuck in town and uh, we're looking for a way out of here. Uh, can you talk? We've just about circled the block. I think he's looking for the U Employment Insurance Office. Ducked into a uh, second-hand store, and I came out and I couldn't find Simon again. So uh, he disappeared pretty fast. I suspect he tried to ditch me. But this is the uh, Salvation Army building. Let's find out what's happening here. Well, really amazing. The door was open, and no one's here. First open door church I have found in years of looking. This is the local provincial government office. Kind of a nice building. Certainly too good for a bunch of crooks. But they seem to uh, have control. They don't need reason or understanding or honesty. Just mu muscle. And that's how they get into power. Bunch of bullshit. This is the holy family church? Wow, I wonder if there's any family left. 
Whoa. Another big building. I guess in 1911, they probably had the intent of uh, the unit, the family unit, being something to uphold. 1996, what, the family's the godfather. Another open door. Wow, I'm impressed. And I'm on the inside. Oh, I remember this. Well, I remember doing this when I was a kid. You put a coin in there and light a candle. This looks rather unique having drums in here. So is this figure any different than the one outside the repair shop? Hey, can you help me? I'm kind of stuck. Hello? Hello? No, it don't move either. Icons. What about this guy? Hello? No. He, he's solid there too. Just an idea. This is the uh, tabernacle. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Our opening. Oh, like a little casket with nothing in it. Hello?